Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Prison Architect Alpha 32 Episode 1. So between Alpha 31 and 32 there's been a bug bash. So 130 odd bugs I think that's been squished because the game actually is coming close to release which is something that I've got mixed feelings about to be honest with you but uh, I'll get onto that later. Anyway this is the first episode of our new series. Obviously we're going to be building a prison over this month. So this is episode 1, planning episode. There'll be no building in this episode, only planning after which... Um, I will obviously open it up for comments, and then if you think I've messed something up or you want changes, etc., then post in the comments, and then by episode two, hopefully I can incorporate them before we actually crack on with the building. So, uh, Alpha 32 has not introduced a lot. It's, it's put a couple of things in, like um, the lawyers received a little bit of a change in a couple of additions, but mainly it's about bug fixes and things out, which is uh, fantastic. Anyway, in this uh, this prison anyway, last last prison we got a death row prison. We're going to be doing another death row prison. I actually said at the end of the last episode in Alpha 31 that I was going to make a medium-sized prison, but I've changed my mind, mainly because of the time. You know, when you do a medium prison, it rolls over next Alpha, and I don't really like that. But also, I have a bit of an idea for this prison, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, yes, I, I really wanted to... Um, I, I really want to make a, another death row prison. I want to make a death row prison like we did before. And the last prison wasn't overly harsh. I want to make a bit of a harsher prisoner, a, har a harsher uh, prison. But I don't know what type of prisoners I'll be getting in. I know I'm going to do death row, but last episode or last series rather, I also did uh, high risk as well. So it was high risk, max sec, and death row. Obviously, primarily it was max sec and. Uh, sorry, high risk, high risk. We had a couple of uh, maximum security, but uh, only one or two that I manually changed. And a couple of death rows as well, with one execution in there. But uh, Actually, there's a couple, but that was via shotgun blast to the head. But, you know, uh, one official execution. I want to do same sort of thing. I want to do a death row and that sort of stuff. But I also want to uh, go for really smaller cells. I didn't really, I didn't do the smaller cells thing that you can do. One of the additions with Alpha 31 was the ability to get the lawyer to unlock or to remove the requirement for cell size of 3 by 2 so you can actually make a cell smaller than that when you've got it and that's what we'll be doing this series, we'll have a lot of small cells we're going to go for a high capacity prison I'm hoping for at least 100 capacity, that would be quite good if I can get 150 out of it that would be even better so we'll see how we go but I don't want to obviously compromise the design and such the the thing is, if you watch the Alpha 32 video, actually that's something that a couple of people were saying that uh, they don't really know what, when I say I uh, watch the IV video. Uh, Introversion do a video every month, uh, Mark and Chris and sometimes Johnny Program and other people come on and they have a little natter about what they've done in the Alpha. But they always generally natter about Star Wars or films or Star Trek or basically the other bollocks. And sometimes they talk about the game that they've spent a month uh, working on. And uh, in the last one, they uh, showed you a prison that uh, I believe you can get on the Steam Workshop and such that was just a, a cell of one, right? Because they combined the, the person who made it combined it with a cell of one, so it was just one tile, right? So well, basically it was this, yeah. That was the cell, right? That was the cell. That was actually a door, and that's how that's their cell. So they went in there, and that would be because they've got the lawyers, uh, no maximum capacity for cells anymore, and also the maximum lockdown, and that's what they did there, like that. That is too far for me. I won't be doing that, but what I will be doing is something that is uh, a little bit more. Uh, cramped than usual so we're going to do this we're actually going to do the cell blocks first we're going to have a central prison so i do need to measure off this thing the last one was not central at all so obviously that's 80 so we have to measure to 40 which is that and so that should be the center so what we'll do is have a quick measure from either side there and then we'll go to there that is 39 to that edge so this should be 39 also which it is so we know that that is the actual center of this thing which is fantastic so there we are. So we need... Uh, I think I'll put the entrance and a couple of things in first. I don't want to... No, I'm going to build the everything else around the cells, which is going to be a bit dodgy, but we'll get on with it. So this is going to be a wall. Uh, preferably, I will use... I think if I can, if I've got the money, I will use a perimeter wall. I didn't get to put a perimeter wall in the last one. Don't even know if I'll get on this one. But with the amount of people we'll have, hopefully we'll have enough money. So that'll be a perimeter wall. Then we want a gap of one all the way around. And then we want a, our cell blocks from here. So that'll be a building. I could if I want to. Actually, no, you know what? Let's not do that. Let's have that as wall. Actually, have that as wall. 
and have this is the edge of the cell. So this will be a bit dodgy for digging. I have to really, really be careful about people digging. But I definitely want to maximize the amount of people we can have in this. They maximize my space. So the cells that I'm going to design are going to be two by two, okay? Two by two, hands of blue. There you go. That'll be the size. So that'll be the bed and that'll be the toilet. That's going to be the size of every single cell in here. And we're going to do the ITI design like that. And we'll have it all the way along, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just keep going. I, if I can get 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If, you know, I don't need to count it. I'm just going to keep going until I feel it's about right. There we go. Okay, this is... You can see how much space this... Uh, saves it's amazing isn't it actually how much space this actually saves good grief my hands are so cold at the moment i don't know why i can hardly click the bloody mouse uh not very precise at all so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted twenty in a row. So that means I can have then a gap of two. And then That's forty. <laughs> that's forty. Forty there, so we'll have some of that. And then we want sixty. Is that right? Uh... Nope, it's too big. <laughs> we can just shrink that down. And, yep, so we're going to have entrances there. You can see, imagine all of that cell. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, that is our cell block. That there. Okay, that is 80, which means when I do the other one, that'll be... 160 prisoners and I haven't even yet got death row in cool right excellent uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work but we'll find out it's going to be interesting finding out right do I want to shrink that down a bit I think I'll shrink it down by I'll, sh I'll, I'll shave off two I'll shave off two cells right just because I think I will need a bit more room than that so we'll shave off two cells that's going to save me a little bit of room. There we go. Yeah. I mean, I could, if I wanted to, put them cells on the wall and then save a bit more room, but I definitely want to gap all the way around so I could put dogs and uh, move them all around. I'm not going to do these cells because you understand the size that they're going to be. So what is this? This, from that corner, is 25 by 61. So from that corner, we want 25... By 61. There we go. And there's both of them cells. That's a lot of people. Okay. In this corner, we will have death row. This, or I could, as someone pointed out, have a communal shower. Where we'll have all of them funnel into here for a shower. Do I want that? No. <laughs> because they're just going to fight. That's not going to work out too well. This will be death row. So how am I, how am I going to do death row? Well... I think we will have similar sort of setup. We will have them like that. So I don't think we'll need too many death row cells, but if this works out for size, it doesn't work out for size. I might have these cells a little bit bigger. Just, you know, see if it fits in, which again, it doesn't. Actually, sort of done it wrong anywhere. It's always going to mess it up, isn't it, really? I'm never going to have the right size. Um, no. What I'll do then. When in doubt, change it the other way. Oh, and that's not going to work either, because we've already tried to. What's the best way? Maybe 3 by 2 well, Actually, what size is that? 4 by 3 that one. We're never going to make it. I'm never going to have it, sort of. The amount of right cells. Are how many prisoners will I feel realistically get in this one? Feasibly, how many are we going to have? I don't know. I 
Could make it that. <laughs> Have the bed there and the toilet there. Ooh. No, no. Um, I actually I actually did think of many other designs. I could technically have done that. Hang on. That. And then have the entrance there. And then what you would do, you would have something like this. Right? And then you would have like an entrance there and an entrance there. But it, you know, it doesn't really save any space as you can see. So I was trying to think of uh, shorter ways of doing it. This is like the minimum I can make it with st and still have the toilet and shower in. So, yeah, not that you really need that, I don't think, but still. Uh, let's see if we can sort of space these out. I do like them spaced out so you can have a bit of a gap between them. And since that works out on size, I think we will have that. So... Uh, we'll have the entrances like there. Like there? Just there. Oh my good grief, can I hardly click today? Why? I don't know if it's laggy or my hands are just so cold I can hardly feel them. Right, there is Death Row. Death Row, I was going to say storage, but that's a bit thats a bit harsh, isn't it? That's where we have um, our Death Row inmates. So, one, two, three, four, five. Five Death Row inmates. That'll do us for now, right? I don't think we'll need any more than that. So, we need a couple of showers, and we'll have a shower on either side of this place. So we'll have it probably a fairly large shower, as you can imagine. We're going to need that. That'll be actually an entrance there as well. So we'll have two entrance areas like that. And then showers all the way down there. And then... Let's quit up looking at objects here. So we'll have objects like that. There'll be showers, there'll be showers, there'll be showers. Then we could have... Showers down the middle. If I really wanted to. And then showers like that. A little bit cramped. But it should do. And I think that's what we're going to do. Because we've never really done a central showery thing in a while. So there we go. There's our showers on either side. Understand that I am just going to... Uh, do the same thing here. Is that about right? It does measure off. Yeah, that's fantastic. And that is our other shower area, okay? Obviously, we'll only be able to really build one of these at a time because it's going to take a while to do. So there's our two cell blocks plus our death row. So death row will just literally cut up like that. We do need some entrance areas here. So we'll have entrance areas at least there, but I'm probably going to have to put one down here. What I might do as well is cut some of these cells like that so we can have a, a central entrance. Do I want that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, because it's obviously I made it. It was 20, then I cut two off. Yeah, yeah, and then a half that. Nine. It won't work out. Yeah, okay, fine. Um, just trying to do the maths on that one. Yeah, that'll be fine. I, I will put some more entrances into that, but I'll, I'll do that one that I know where stuff goes. So, Let's get on with other things. So we do need a deliveries area and a garbage area. So we will get on with that. So this will be deliveries and garbage. Like that, I guess. Uh, we still need an entrance. So that will be the entrance, like so. I, mm, You know what always bugs me? That I do this weird design where we have like an entrance there and this, that, and the other. But it never gets used. Everybody just goes straight into the uh, deliveries or into the... Uh, the garbage. So, road gate. Road. Road gate. Hmm. We could just put a road gate over this thing. <laughs> just have a road gate either side like that. Hmm. Double road gate. Don't even know if there's a. It's a stop. Yeah, you can actually have it so they will open like a big gate either side. I'm going to do that because we've never done that before. Right, so we'll do it. So it's a little bit wider, but we'll just have double road gate. So I'll uh, go to our rooms and change deliveries and garbage. Obviously, delivery wants to go there. Garbage wants to go... Actually, deliveries we'll put there. I always prefer deliveries on the top. Garbage on the bottom. There we are. Not going to have exports. We are not going to be uh, working the prisoners. We are solely going to be about uh, storage of crims. So, there we go. We will have a...
gate there. I'll have that as an automatic door opener. And then I want a room for searching. So we will go like that, I think. That should do us quite nicely. A little bit bigger, maybe, because it seems to make sense. Yeah, like that. And then we need things like admin center and that sort of thing, which you can put on the top or bottom. Then we'll have a... Do we need a corridor? I don't think we do. We'll have an entrance there. Then this will be the kitchen. Like that. I don't know how big we're going to make this. Might as well make it that size. Now... Actually, now that I think about it, we're going to have to have a fairly large kitchen. And also, the canteen's going to be massive because of the amount of prisons that we have. Hmm. We could shrink it down to there. I'm just thinking how we're going to bring the prisoners through. Because I think I want to have a corridor going like that around here. And then this will be visitation. On either side, I believe, could be wrong about this, I have been wrong several times before, pretty much every time, I believe that visitation has now been fixed so you can have multiple visitation areas. Don't know if that's a lie or not, I haven't actually read the patch notes, I just watched the video, so I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> we'll probably find out, won't we? Uh, three by three, these are obviously our visitation Tables. Visitor tables. Don't think we need it any bigger than that. There we go. And that is a size from that corner of 15 by 12. 15 by 11. From that corner. There we are. There's visitation either side. Fantastic. If we just make that the kitchen, we can probably then shrink it down. So we need to furnish this place first. So we'll go to objects and then on either side we will have washing areas. I do want to do that. That's our searching area where we search prisoners. And then this will come down to something or other. I don't know what this will be yet. Probably this will be where the offices are. One, two, three, four. And then we could really... We could make that office if we really wanted to. Just increase that. Don't really need to, but we can. Um, how do we want to have that as storage? Have that as storage. There we go. And then you have to go through the storage to get to the offices, which is not great. I must confess, it's not a great design, but it will do. One, two, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. You need a six in total, I believe. Then this will be our security station. That's going to be security, this one here. So we'll put all this in, because I need to put uh, some security somewhere. These are all doors, you understand. Doors there. Doors here. Door there. Door there. Door there. Doors and such. Actually, we could probably remove them. We don't need a double door there. We just need a single door. Like that. And that one can be the same. I don't know what this top bit's going to be yet. But we'll, well, we know. It's, it's about finding out and see what happens. And we do definitely want a wall going probably right across there. What's the minimum size for an armory? Because we're going to have one, that's for sure. No minimum size. Fantastic. So we can have lockers right across there. Shelves and all sorts of stuff. Shelves. Uh, yep, I think that works out quite nicely. And then obviously you want a door. Probably there, there. And then a door to the armory. The back. You always have it at the back everywhere. <laughs> and then we'll have, I don't know. That going down the centre, that's a uh, guard tables or whatever. And then we'll have bench, not a bench, a table. Weapon rack, weapon rack. Something like that, you want to say. That's uh, guard lockers and such. There we go. That could be security or... Or it could be the staff room. Staff room works out. I could split it up to be staff room and security. A little bit cramped. Very cramped indeed. Do we need to keep it like that? Do we need to have it that tight? 
think I might be overcomplicating that. You know what? I'm going to undo the armory because I don't know whether that could, needs to be the armory or not. We'll have a think about that because we've still got all this stuff up here. Let's get the essentials done. Let's get the essentials done. As I said, it's about the journey, not the destination. And the journey is rocky and perilous. The journey is just as bad as Frodo uh, had when he uh, took the ring to Mount Doom. Right, let's have some... I guess we want a lot of cookers. So we can have six at the back. So one, two, three, four, five at the back. And we can have a nice... I don't want to over cramp the kitchen because they always tend to over cramp the thing and the chefs always complain. They don't complain, but I imagine they do. There's going to be double freezers like that. That works out. And then 10, 10. That's a lot of lot of lot of cookers. I think that's a, I think that's about right. Uh, we could probably even get rid of that, and we do need to put in somewhere. We need to put a dishwasher. Get rid of them three. One, two, three. Hang on. We need to work out the entrance here. One, two, three. Yeah, and then we'll have three there. One, two, three. Okay. There we go. That should be enough. Ish. Ish. Very, it's very ish. Very, very ish indeed. Actually, what I'll do, I will move that along there. So that'll be our sink, you see. And the reason I've moved it down is because I want to put in a bit of an airlock there like that. Because I'll have a like a, a large jail door. A, a jail door there and a standard door there so they can quickly come in. Uh, right, so now we need our canteen, which is going to be massive. So we'll have an entrance there. It would make sense to have an entrance in there. So we'll plan that in as we go. And then we need serving tables. So they are five. So we can fit one in there or two in there. And actually, fit more than two in there. We can fit... I'll put two in there and then I'll put a bin at the bottom or something like that. Right. That works out. These four down there and then them four on either side. There will be phones. That's fine. These will obviously be doors. So we'll put in the doors there. Hang on. That's wrong. I've already messed that up. I've already ballsed it up. I thought I had. That is not right. We need to undo them bits there. Put it back in. There we go. Objects. Not that one. Add that one there. Add that one there. And put the wall in that I messed up. Right. That makes sense. So door there. Door there. Oh my good grief. Today is not a day for clicking. Right. So they fit in. So now we need to do 4x3, 4x3, 4x3. And we need to probably continue on that idea. The reason we've got a gap is because we're going to have loads of prisoners in this thing. Hang on. <laughs> is it too much of a gap? No, I think that's about right. Although I, I, mean, I am saving a bit of space if I move it up. If I shrink these tables here, if I actually do them the other way, we might get more in. Let's try that. that I, I like that a lot better. That is a lot better. Yep, I like that a lot better. And the fact that it's got this uh, thing down the middle, like a walkway down the middle so you can easily get to these, works out. Okay. Get it up it there. That was just a marker. That's the middle. And walls there. And then an entrance like that. And come it, bring it along. Entrance. And then finally, we want another set of. I might even have to change that and put some more serving tables in but again we'll we'll play this by ear we'll see how it goes right there we go that should be about the right size which it is 
there is our canteen. It's feckin' huge. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that's massive. Okay, I can handle that. That's a very big canteen. Probably bigger than what we actually need. But it's done, which is the most important bit. Okay, so we shall quickly have a little blast on our rooms and see what we have. Cell, yes. Holding cell, no. Solitary, no. Canteen and kitchen, yes. Shower, yes. Yard, no. Storage, yes. It is. No, actually, we don't have storage. Okay. Storage, no. Infirmary, no. Morgue, no. Common room, no. Laundry, no. Visitation, yes. Two of cleaning cupboard, no. We're not having one. Ke kennel, no. Uh, armories, tentatively, yes, maybe. Staff room, again, unknown. Forestry, no. Classroom, no. I don't know where we're going to put that. Chapel, no. Parole, no. And reception, yes. We've got reception, actually. It's in there. So, still a lot of work to do. We've got all of our officers as well. So, up here, I think we need to do a bit of storage. So, we'll put in storage first. So, we'll go for that. That'll be... Actually, no. That will be our storage there. Okay? And then we need a power room and such. So, I might put it on the back here. So, that'll be 5x5 five five and... Uh, no, that's not going to work out. 5x5 five five and then a water pump. There we go. See, that's a lot of wasted space. We could probably fit it in elsewhere. Some people say put it on the opposite side, but I always like it inside the uh, facility. Could put it there. Don't know if it's a good idea. It's, it's just a bit... If that's where we put it, what else can I do with the room? You know, I would have to do... Well, I wouldn't have to do that, but I could do that. What would be the point? I guess we could have armory back there. Right out the way. This is a security room where we have things like the uh, door openers and stuff like that. What size is that? Six, we can fit two things along there. To, yeah, that's okay. That, you know what? That works out. That works out. Unsurprised. Uh, well, very surprising. That actually is about the right size. So security, yes. Uh, we've got our armory, yes. We've got then the electricity supply, which is all good. What else do we need? We need storage, which we've got down there. Security, no. Workshop, no. Laundry, no. We could, if we wanted to, have laundry there. Now, this is one we've never really done before. Laundry we've always put on the outside, but if you put laundry in uh, an area like that, it will then obviously cart it around and such. We could do that. I'm going to do it because we've never tried it before, have we? We've never tried it before. If we have that as laundry... That is storage. That is laundry. Do we really want that? What's sort of annoying me a little bit is we, we might as well do that. There's no need for us to have... Uh, we could actually make this room a little better. Whole thing a bit better. And have corridors and actually have proper rooms for these things. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? Yes, that's fine. This one, obviously, one, two, three, four, five, six officers. We don't need six. We need... Let's have a quick look. One for the warden. Two, three, four, five. We do need six, but the psychology doesn't go here. What I'll do then... I will have... Office, office, one, two, three, four, five. That one is not required. Like that. So this is a big empty area. So we need a dog kennel. Minimum five by five, I believe, a dog kennel. And we need a couple of other things as well. Hmm. Storage, laundry... Armory, which is uh, I like the um, I like the idea of the armory bound. Still I like the idea of the armory being down here. How about ah right, much better idea. That there is staff room, armory, and security. Back where it was originally. Okay, this side storage. Laundry, open area, dogs in this bit here, and then that. So this actually here 
that will... Mm, actually, no, because minimum size 5x5, five five, I believe, for the dogs. I didn't check the last time I said it was 5x5, five five, but uh, yeah, minimum size 5x5. Five five. That's not 5, that's 4. So we'd have to shrink it down. Unless I redesign it. As I say, put that on that side. We'll put the water pump in the corner or something. I'll do it out of objects. It's easier. 5x5 five five and then 4x4 four four for the water. Walls go along like that. Along like that. And like that. That's our power bit. That's our area for dogs, which is a little bit big, but I don't think we've got any else, uh, any other place to put it, really. We don't really need any other um, area there. Right. So, storage, laundry, power, dogs, down here, all the officers, one, two, three, four, five, staff room, armory, and security. Okay, we are getting there now. We are definitely getting there. We do need a couple of other things. We need a common room. So, I guess we'll get on with that. A common room could be... Either side here. Actually, I like the idea of that being a yard. We do need a yard space. Hmm. We just cut that up. And assuming this is going to be a building of some kind. So that's the only sort of free space. I don't know whether I'm going to have that as outside or not. I like the idea of just being a little bit outside. So I can just see the sun and the rest indoors. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that one though. So this goes inside. And then either side we can have a common room. Like that. We do need a yard. We do need a yard. Hmm. Maybe that as a yard would not work out. Not with the amount of prisoners we've got. I'm going to have a, lock, a lot of this prison, uh, prison on lockdown, by the way, just in case you were wondering. Hmm. Where can I put the yard? Might have over-egged how many prisoners we've got here. <laughs> I might have over-pointed this thing. But uh, we haven't really pushed the... Uh, push the boundaries of what we can do for a long time so might as well give it a go uh, right so we need a yard and we need a area for the prisoners to do a bit of recreation we need a common room okay this is common room all right and that is alcoholics anonymous that is chapel actually we'll split it up i think what we'll do that is chapel. Doing a fairly large chapel, I think. Chapel, and this will be a yard. Okay, so that'll be indoors, and that'll be a chapel. That'll be a common room with Alcoholics Anonymous. This then goes and sort of is closed off because... Oh, do you want to close it off? We need to do parole. We haven't got that yet, which is a bit weird because it means that actually... For parole, we're going to have to have the warden come all the way along here, which is not good. But sack it, because I can't really think of a better way of doing it. This will be the parole room. We don't need it that big. That's the parole room there. That's fine. And actually, you know what? That's a silly, silly, silly idea. What we need is solitary. This is the one of the. Really, this is a really badly designed prison, I am well aware. So, solitary. Do you want to do that? Hmm. Solitary on either side, like that. Alright. So, we'll have doors there. And then doors all the way along there. There's some solitary. Hopefully we won't need it, but you know. Plan for the worst. Hope for the best, plan for the worst and all that. 
This room currently doesn't have a purpose. You then end up going into, we could have like a little secure little desk there to say that you are now we're entering the maximum, or the, the death row area, I like that. That sounds cool, even though it's not gonna be death row, you understand. But uh, that there, and we'll close it off. We'll have the door. Hmm. You know what? I think I have got too many prisoners. There's so many cells that I can't really fit anything else in. No idea, no idea, no idea. Um, we need a visit. No, we need. We do need a area, probably there. Well, we do need an area for. Death row appeals as well as parole. I think two parole rooms is probably going to work out on either side. Sadly, this one here is if it doesn't go well, we have the chair uh, there, I think. Something like that. Yep. Make that parole a little bit bigger. Don't know why I'm trying to make this symmetrical. But yeah, there you go. And then we want chairs like that. And then there's a, obviously the chair. And then what else have we got? Let's have a quick look. Right, cells, yes. Holding cells, no. We don't really need that one. Solitary, yes. Canteen and kitchen, yes. Shower, yes. Two of yard, yeah. There it is there. Storage, yes. Delivering garbage, yes. Workshop, no. Security, yep. Offices, yes. Infirmary and morgue, no. We'll get that in a second. Common room, yes, but it's small. Laundry, yes. Visitation, yes. Clean cupboard, no, we're not having one. Kennel, yes, it's over there. Armory, yes. Staff room, yes. Library, no, we're not having one. Forestry, we're not having one. Classroom, we're not having one yet, but I might change it around. Export, no. Chapel, yes. Parole, yes. So we just need to put in the infirmary and morgue, which makes sense to put them... Probably around here. I do I want that? See this. So we'll have entrance to there. Entrance to that bit at the back. But beyond Hmm I'm having difficulty because I don't want this to be accessed by everybody. I want that. This is obviously uh all of this as death row only, you see. And this currently doesn't have a purpose, this room here. Could put double on this side. Hmm. Just think we could put double parole on this side, but no, I don't like that. Parole on either side there works fine, but I think we do need to extend it a bit because of the size of it. There we go. And then, sort of a corridor either side. Don't know why I'm doing that, but it just, don't know, it looks, it looks funky. So we're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Is that about right? Yep. And then infirmary and morgue at the back there. Obviously we'll have doors, doors, doors. Doors, 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 doors everywhere, like that. And I think that's technically everything. Let's have a quick look. Cells, yes, we've got too many. I've already got too many, right? Um, that's the thing. People always say, oh, you know, you should edit these down. Well, the whole point is you see the mistakes and the evolution of it, and obviously you can comment and make change, obviously suggest changes and feedback, which I assume is going to be quite a lot for this prison. Uh, cells, yes. Holding cell, no. Solitary, yes, we've got some, but I don't really like the place. Canteen, kitchen, yes. Shower, yes. Yard, yes, but it's a bit too small. Storage, we've got deliveries and garbage is all in. Workshop, we're not having it. Security, we've got it down the bottom there, as well as the armory. Officers, we've got all of that in there. Infirmary, yes. Morgue, yes. We actually have already... I've already realised we really have missed out the psychologist, so I don't really know where to put that, so please suggest an idea where, suggest a place where we can put the psychologist. The uh, common room, yes. Laundry, yes. Visitation, yes. Two of. Cleaning cupboard, no, we're not having one. Kennel, yes, it's up the top there. Armory, yes, down the bottom. Staff room, down the bottom in that corner there. Library, not having it. Forestry, not having it. Classroom, we haven't got one, but I might place it somewhere. Where do you think we should place it? Export, no. Chapel, yes, it's there. A parole, two of. And reception, one at the front. Right! That is the very, very 
dodgy plan for Alpha 32. I'm not overly happy with the, some of the stuff for that, but I don't really know what the solution is, which is why I really would like your feedback on this one more than ever, in fact. What do you think we should do to change this? A couple of things that I've went through we need to add. A couple of changes that are required. We need to do a couple of things. I think I've over-egged it with the whole capacity. We've got 150 capacity or something, so I definitely want to probably reduce that down a bit. But um, I would like your suggestions on this one. Really would like your feedback on this. As always, comments in the comments. The next uh, episode we will start building. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings. This is going to be a difficult one, I think.